And welcome back. Things calming down in Schuyler County, looking at the Watkins Glen Sky Cam. And they did have some rain showers throughout much of the area, those many of which have passed through. And we are starting to have a much calmer night ahead of us going into tomorrow. The winds could pick up and we could see temperatures not quite make it to the mid 60s tomorrow. We're expecting low 60s across the region. The low highs today very much uncharacteristically warm across the region. 81 in Dansville. How about that? 77 in Elmira, 74 Penyan, and 73 in Ithaca. But even the most 70s across the region, very warm for this time of year. Temperature wise right now back down to the 60s, 60 in Bath, 63 Tioga and over towards Penn Yen and Watkins Glen. We're also at 60, 57 in Germania and Morris and over towards Binghamton currently at 63 this evening. So still very much on the mild side. We see those temperatures drop a little bit more, but not too much as long as the clouds are still staying put. So here's what we had earlier. These lines of showers now they stayed much. They retained much of their strength down in Pennsylvania. That's what was causing a rain delay over in Steelers and Cowboys game not too long ago. They are still playing. I think they just got to halftime and now we're going to see all these showers and storms push out. Much of them dissipated across the Empire State, but again in PA still retaining a lot of their structure as they continue to trek through the Keystone State. So we do have a few light showers still passing through. Tompkins County has a little bit more left to go, but then they should be wrapping up soon. Same goes in Shemung, just a few light showers. And Tiger County, they're on the tail end of that line passing through. So we got some wind gusts potentially getting up to the 20, 25 mile per hour range for a few more hours, but then things do marginally calm down before they pick up again for some business on Monday. But again, by the time we get to the evening, things do calm down once again. Now temperature wise in the mornings looking like 50s, 60s for the afternoon. Not much of a temperature gain tomorrow. We're going to see things get up to the low 60s. So just below that average line where we're sitting at right now, that 64, 65 is where we are at for an average for this time of year. All those showers, they are pushing out of the region. They're going to be out of our hair for this evening. We're going to have a little bit more of a partly cloudy theme for tomorrow. Can't rule out a stray drizzle tomorrow. We have a 20% chance of rain for tomorrow. Spotty cloud cover regardless. We could see a few light areas of drizzle, and that's mainly towards the north and eastern portions of the region. And as we said in the previous uh, break, we did we do have another hurricane tracking in the Gulf. Milton is currently a Category 1 hurricane, but it is forecast to strengthen to a Category 4, potentially making landfall right around here in the Tampa Bay metro area or in the area surrounding it as a Category 3 major hurricane. So we are continuing to track that storm as it evolves and moves through the Gulf. Now for our five degree guarantee, I got it right this time. I actually remembered to change it. 75 was our forecast high for today. Actual high was 77. That's from the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. 48 is tonight's low. Some showers should still linger on, but most of them going to taper off in the next couple of hours. Breezy though, up 25 mile per hour winds and they'll stick around for tomorrow along with some partly sunny skies. 63 is our five degree guarantee. We stay in the low 60s until Wednesday, then we drop down to the 50s for Thursday, 67 on Friday. But then look at that weekend could be above average once again as high as 74 on Saturday. We'll see if that we'll see if that sticks in the next coming days.